After installing order tracking, the place to get started is the Statuses tab. On this tab, you can delete a status or add a new one to suit your company's shipping process. To add a new status, simply enter the name of the status and the percentage of the order process completing this status represents. The percentages are used to create a graphic showing customers the progress of their order. Once you have the statuses set to your liking, let's head over to the Orders tab. This is where you will enter and update orders. With the free version, you can set the order name, order number, the status, public and private order notes, and whether or not the order should be shown in your admin table. Public order notes can be seen by visitors when they enter their order number, while private order notes are simply for admin use. After entering your orders, it's time to insert the order tracking form into the page of your choice. Simply enter the order tracking shortcode into the page and then save it. Now when visitors go to that page, they'll be able to enter their order numbers and check on the status of their orders. In our next video, we'll show you how to set what information is displayed when customers search for their orders, as well as a number of other options. The plugin is available for free through WordPress.org, which we've linked to in the video description.